What's up, YouTube? Back. Another week. Another L. You know, what's new? I, I You know, I... I had no expectations of the Browns. I didn't give a damn. As a matter of fact, uh, I didn't even watch them. You know what I mean? I didn't even watch them. I'm not going to watch. I'm not going to watch mediocrity, trash. I'm not going to watch that. I'm just not. I don't care. I'm a Browns fan, but I, I have my limits. I'm not. I refuse. I refuse to subject myself to, uh, you know, poor trash anything. I just won't. My time is too precious for that. To waste it on garbage like that. And I, I already knew what the results was going to be. Now listen, I did follow the game. I followed it. I followed it. If I saw something like, oh, it's a close score, like maybe a 14-14 score, you know, I probably would have said, oh, okay, this is something to watch. And I probably would have watched it. But I'll be damned if I'm going to watch it when the Browns is getting their ass kicked. I didn't watch the kickoff. I was playing Call of Duty. That's what I was doing. I couldn't do too much else. So I played some Call of Duty. And then right at the end of the first half, I turned off the Call of Duty, started playing the game. I mean, started watching the game. And when I watched it and I saw, I saw, uh, I saw the score, I said, oh, no. Turn that shit right back off. And turn Call of Duty right back on again. Like, nope, I re I'm not. But then I checked my phone periodically and was watching it and watching the score and still nothing. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. But my, my, my theory, my feelings still stand on, uh, on how I feel about the Browns changing their name and everything. That's, that still stands. I, I still want that. Um, they got to start off fresh. They got to start off. You know, it's because it's they just a joke, you know. Browns is synonymous with doo-doo, feces, uh, shit that's spoiled, rotten, uh, you know, tubas, tubas. Like, you know, when you hear tuba, the the, the, the instrument, do, 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 do. you know that, that noise? Yeah, that's what Browns is synonymous with, you know. There's no... There's nothing that can save the Browns at this point besides changing everything except the talent. That's it. That's how I feel. Defensive coordinator Steve Wilkes of Kitchens, all of them got to go. Baker Mayfield, train him. Train Baker. Get him. Get a quarterback's coach, you know, and get and get this boy uh, harness his skills. And, and we can go from there, you know? Because really, Baker Mayfield just run loose. That's all it is. It, what we watched we watch the whole season was Baker Mayfield running wild, running loose. You know what I mean? With, 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 with uh, commercials and, you know, him running his fucking mouth on everything. His, uh, you know, on shit, everything other than football. That's what we watched with Baker. So we get a quarterback's coach. That will harness the energy and the power within Baker Mayfield, and we'll have us a solid quarterback. Because right now, we got a fucking kid running amok. That's what it is. It's, it's a kid running amok, doing whatever the hell he want to do, because his parents is missing. That's just what it is. It's, and it's tough to watch. Because if it ain't one thing, it's another. You got a good coach, you got a shitty staff. You got it. You got a great staff. You got a shitty coach. Something's got to mess up something. It's a monkey wrench somewhere in the whole shebang bang. It's a joke. It's a joke. And like I said, I refuse to watch that shit when I got I got shit to do. Shit, I could be mopping the floor, washing a dish, picking my fucking nose. I could be doing anything but watching that bullshit on TV. I got, I got time. And, and another thing is my time is precious where I don't want to waste it on trash like that. You know what I mean? It's equivalent to watching a bad movie. Have you ever watched a bad movie? And you watch it like, what the fuck is this shit? And you get mad because you waste all your time. Yeah, that's that same type shit. Seriously. It's a joke, man. 
fuck ass Browns, bro. It's just what it is with these Browns. I'm not getting excited for next season. I, you know, off season, well, I watch their moves, you know, but I, I, I don't, I'm not getting hyped for nothing. I'm gonna wait until next season and then I'll, I'll say what I'm gonna say, you know, and, and feel how I'm gonna feel and all of that shit. Browns, uh, I'll follow them next week, see how they're doing. Because at least they could do is finish strong. At least finish strong. At least show that you, you know, that we, that something's clicking. Show that. Show that something's clicking. If you show that something's clicking, then I'll be like, okay. I got something to be excited about. You know what I mean? Show something. Show that, that that I care about the franchise, about the team. Have some pride. Something. But no, you just got a bunch of fucking kids running amok. And Baker Mayfield is the is the top one. Is what it is. But that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to speak my thoughts on this on this travesty of a season. And and this embarrassment of a of a franchise, you know, not one playoff appearance the whole decade, one playoff appearance in twenty fucking years. Whatever, man. Whatever. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. I'm gonna take it in stride and everything. Wrong rush. I'm out.